Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Allmark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I'm very excited because I've just had a delivery and I've got this wonderful bundle which is the Winter Woods which has framelits and has a beautiful stamp set and it's on page 27 of the, um, the new Autumn Winter catalogue and I really love the birch trees that are here. Um, so I thought I would try and replicate something similar to that today. Not a Christmas one because as I said I'm doing Christmas in October but not just yet. So let's have a look and see what we can do. Um, so here is the stamp set and there is so much on this to, to work with and I can't wait to do some of the other ideas um, but I'm going to concentrate on this stamp which is the little birch um, the, the, the trunks of the tree um, and we have coordinated framelits called In The Woods and if you have the bundle together you get your 10% discount on it which is fantastic and there is inside lovely dies, but there's something which is not in the actual stamp set, but which is a die that cuts out um, these lovely leaves with a ridge down them. Um, so it's almost three dimensional. Um, and I'm going to be using that later on as well. Um, so let's, um, let's get started and see what we can do. So, um, in the winter woods, I have already put this and I've used the, let me see if I can see it in the light, what block this is. It's the H block because it's a long um, rectangular block and it fits this on perfectly. And we are going to take a piece of Whisper White cardstock, which is five and a quarter inches by three and a half inches. And I'm going to put it this way up because I think it'll be easier to line it up so I'm lining it up with my grid and we're going to use crumb cake for this um I was debating on whether to use soft suede but I thought I would um, use crumb cake so let's ink it up and we want the darker piece down at the bottom but I want um I want to line it so that it is higher at the or the top comes to the top of the card like that and in fact I can take it up just a little tad higher and the nice thing is that they seem to line up very well you literally just I'm going to move it down a bit because I don't want my head to come in um, you literally just line the bottom part or the edge so this edge just line that up with the last stamp and we're going to work our way literally across the whole of the card so let me line it up and um, just stamp it right the way across and say so it's quite difficult on camera because I as I always say you have to go at a bit of an angle um, so that your head doesn't come in shot. So I'm doing it at a little bit of a slant to get it lined up to start off with. And the last one I'm taking off the side of the page there. Okay, so it, oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Um, now, I want to do a little piece at the bottom to sort of ground the bottom of the trees. Um, and in this stamp set, there is a little sort of... Um, piece that you can use for snow if you're doing the wintry cards or you can do it let me see if I can find it on the picture it is this little tiny piece here and it's perfect for just doing a little bit of grounding so let's get this crumb cake out again and I'm going to put this on I've already put the sentiment up on there so let's put it on this one and we're just going to just at the bottom just stamp it and you can do it sort of a few times which just gives right at the bottom a little bit of grounding so like that up a little bit maybe maybe just another one in there like that so you can do it a few times 
and bring it up and then that just literally sort of grounds the uh, um, the trees rather than have them sort of floating in thin air right now we are going to use the crumb cake I've actually got a piece of hair or something in here it's probably from my there we go from doing some um, I was doing some work with something that had hairs on it so we're going to squeeze the ink pad um, you can use reinker if you've got the new style ink pads um, which are great and um, a aqua painter so what we are going to do is we're going to create a background behind so we want the aqua painter quite wet so give it a bit of a squeeze and get yourself quite quite a pull because you want it to um, to come through and we're just going to start at the top and literally just run the crumb cake up the side and we're going to do exactly the same on each one all the way through because what happens then is that you have just bring it along the top it gives you um, it makes the trees stand out and gives you a background so as I say the trees are just working um, will stand out quite nicely so uh, but you do want the um, quite a lot of water in there because you don't want um, you can do it over a couple of times if you want to to make it a little darker um, but what you don't want is to have lines coming through so as long as you've got enough water in there um, and as I say it's fine you could do it on watercolor paper if you wanted to but it's absolutely fine on this because we're not saturating it completely so you can do it on just standard whisper white cardstock uh, which is what I'm using here so literally working your way down and when you get to the top piece you are just going to let me just give that a bit of a um, okay so along this top piece you're taking it right the way off the side so as I say it's looking as if you have got um, the trees will stand out and pop quite nicely so keeping it wet it makes it flow quite easily and you haven't got any sort of white lines because you can blend it through quite well up to the top so as I say just working your way down um, I'm doing this quite quickly as I always have to for a video but you can spend as much time as you want um, but just literally in the gap in between just run that color through and then take it off at the top say on every piece um, you might have to put a little drop more reinker in if you need to or squeeze your pad which I'm going to do because I want to have the same sort of strength of color running through and um, again just make sure that it's quite it's quite wet in there because as I say if you have it too dry you will start to get um, lines coming through and you don't want that you want it literally to just soak into the paper um, and then you can take it right the way through as you can see I'm doing it quite quickly um, because the edge of the birches um, are not a complete sort of solid line because obviously you've got the nobbles and things like that from the uh, um, the tree as it would be naturally so just take it all the way down just a couple more to do and as I say just go across the top piece um, you could trim that off actually with the trimmer if um, if it gets a little too blobby I think I'll be alright this time um, but you can always take your paper just a little bit um, wider than you need and then trim it off afterwards but I'm doing it um, diagonally like this because I'm finding it easier to go through rather than having it um, the other way around I'm just filling in those pieces here and I'm just going to take them across this way I think so I can just smooth those in so I don't have to cut the cardstock because I've measured it exactly as I want it and then this little piece at the bottom I am going to just add just a little more color to where we've stamped so it 
you haven't got the little sort of um, where it stamps it's sort of little tiny spots and I want that background I want the ground to have the same color crumb cake right the way through so I'm just running just a little bit of color right the way through on the bottom and there we have it it really makes them stand out beautifully so um now I'm going to take this as I said um we're going to take a piece of um tranquil tide and the tranquil tide is five and a half inches by three and three quarters so a quarter of an inch wider I like to have a fairly wide sort of border and then we are going to glue that onto there like that. Let me get my Tombow out. And give that a glue around the edges. Um, I keep saying, the last couple of videos, I've kept saying, oh, my glue's coming to the end. I need to open a new one. And I'm still getting a little bit more out of it. So waste not, want not. And I will keep using it until I shake it and nothing comes out at all. So we're going to line this up. Oh, actually, before I'm going to do that, I want to show you something which is, oh my goodness, this I ordered as well. Um, and I don't know whether you can see, I'm trying to sort of move it about a bit, but it's, um, it's copper and I think it's Merry Merlot. Let's see if it says it on here. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. Merry Merlot and Copper Ribbon. So you've got, and it, it's nice because it's fairly thin. And what I wanted to do was to put, says me, now I've put my glue on it. I want to try and put this across the center. So let's see if I can do this with, I'm just going to actually tuck it in onto that glue before I cut it I would normally cut it but as I say I nearly forgot about it but I want this to go just across on the center and we'll take it off to about there so bit um, cockeyed for doing it the wrong way round but as I say I do things we all do bits and pieces that aren't completely right so let's see if I can get that on there for a minute. Um, I want it sort of probably in the middle, I think. So I'm going to take that across, bring it across on there and just pop it through on the other side. Like that. Let's take it to there and take that through. I'm not getting too much Tombow all over the place. Is that straight? No, it probably isn't straight, but I can straighten it up when I've actually got it on there. So let's see if that will tuck in like that on here. Try to line it up the best I can. Pop it down and let's see if I can get that, if that's going to come straight or not. Yes, that's going to be fine. Um, and because of the way we're going to put the sentiment, oh, you see now those colours together, that Merry Merlot and the Copper running with the Tranquil Tide with the trees in the background. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. <gasps> Very excited about that. OK, so now let me see. Have I got a card base ready or do I need to cut another one? I've probably got one. Oh, no, that's a square one. Um, I have all sorts of bits and pieces down here, but I don't always have... No, that's another square one. I must have been doing a lot of square cards recently. Let's see if I've got one which is... I don't know. I might have to do it. Let's see if I've got one in on here. Excuse me, my hand's going across. I always have sort of bits and pieces of all sorts in here. So let's have a look. Yes, I have got... Oh, no, that's another square one. My goodness, I've been doing lots of square cards um no I haven't I'm going to have to just position it on the back of one that I did before so I'm just going to put it on here for now so you can see it um, but we are going to do the top part and finish it so um the sentiment in here I think is lovely thinking of you this season but I really like the words thinking of you so what I did was I stamped out the thinking of you and I've just cut it so that it comes in just a tiny piece. I'm going to put that on there. 
and just line that up there which I think will look lovely and then I've got that little leaf that I was telling you about and I don't know whether you can see I'm going to try and move it it's very difficult to see but there is a um, it, it embosses um, the raised part of the leaf on there and I thought if we tuck that in underneath that would look absolutely lovely so we need a little glue dot to just hold this ribbon down in the center so let me get my glue dots out um, and we'll take a oh quite a few little glue dots here let me just take one out with I see it in the light right so let's just take a little glue dot off of here like that and I'm just going to tuck it underneath in the center there and to just hold my ribbon down I don't want it to be too flat but that just holds it down beautifully and then um, I think I'm going to glue this on because I want that to come quite flat so um, I am rather than putting it up with dimensionals do I want it on with dimensionals oh decisions decisions um no I don't want it on with dimensionals I do want to put it flat and because this um, ribbon is um, goes right the way across I think that it will work nicely so just take it down to the point and put this on now I need to make sure I don't get glue everywhere on the ribbon but we're just going to put this in like that on the center just hold it down and I think that it'll, yes that's beautiful and it balances it perfectly between the two and then we're just going to tuck this little leaf in underneath like that and I think I'll have a little bit of it over the top um, so let's just take a tiny little bit of it's going in that way so I want just a little bit over on the bottom piece of there and maybe on that bottom one and then let's just tuck him in underneath so it comes out and it gives a beautiful really sort of autumn feel to a card I absolutely love this really lovely so um, excuse me not having a base cut but here we go let me just put it up for you so you can see the colors there real sort of autumn feel um, doesn't have to be sort of Christmassy and you can see how the birches really stand out at the background so thank you so much for watching me as always and I do look forward to seeing you again if you haven't looked at subscribing to me, then please look at subscribing because I do post regularly with lots of different ideas and tips for you and hopefully cards that you all enjoy. So let's look again. It's the winter woods and it's the birch trees on here with the little tiny um, grounding piece at the bottom and using just thinking of you and my dog on cue and the um, in the woods framelits. So thank you so much and do look forward to seeing you again. Bye-bye.